Welcome back to Sports Center. All right, so as expected, coming into the season, Caitlin Clark has been at the center of most of the conversations surrounding the WNBA, and not for her play. The viewership records that she's breaking, the growth through 11 games, the blistering schedule that has seen her play those 11 games in only 20 days. No, 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 none of that. Most of the mainstream narratives surround her perceived treatment in the league by the other players. A narrative reignited after a totally unnecessary flagrant foul in Saturday's game with the sky. Michelle Steele has more in tonight's Sports Center report. That you said that Mina Kimes, as promised, is back with us. Uh, we know that the Jags are coming off back to back nine and eight seasons. So tell Trevor Lawrence where specifically he needs to improve the most to get him back to the postseason. <laughs> Well, first, I'll say there were things that happened Richardson, last Of course, looked pretty good, but a shortened rookie season for him out in week five with injury. What are your expectations for him in his essentially still rookie year? Yeah, I think he can make uh, CJ Stroud in week one as the uh, Colts host the Texans, a team who ended their season last year in week 18. Woof is right. Can't wait for that one. Mina Kimes joining us here. Reese sleeps till the finals began in the Celtics while well, they breeze through the first three rounds of the NBA playoffs. But as this dominant squad makes its return to the NBA finals against the Mavs, the Celts hope to leave a long stretch of postseason disappointment behind them to raise Banner 18. With more, here's our NBA reporter, Tim Bontemps.